Hey guys, what is going on? Today I thought I would do a little bit of a different video. This is not a coding video. I thought I would discuss the differences between two very popular and sometimes confused blockchain platforms. So today I'm going to talk about the differences between Ethereum and Lisk. Compare the two and see what uh, differences there are, what benefits, what drawbacks there are, and the common misconceptions. Many people know about Ethereum. It is currently, as of making this video, the most popular blockchain platform for running decentralized applications. And many people just see Ethereum uh, as a, uh, you know, as a currency, the actual Ether currency. But it's not meant as a currency, it's meant as a platform for running decentralized applications. And on Ethereum, you code what's called smart contracts in Solidity, which is a programming language made up for the Ethereum platform but which is very similar to JavaScript in many ways. And there are some issues, of course, with the Ethereum platform. It is uh, at the moment not very scalable. It can't run very heavy duty applications or enterprise applications because every node in the network, every miner has to run the applications, has to run the smart contracts. So whenever you do a transaction to a smart contract, all of the nodes on the network will execute these transactions and come to a consensus regarding what state the contract is in. Lisk, however, they have done things differently. And I would say the most common misconception when people try to understand Lisk is that it's like Ethereum, but in JavaScript. And this is not really correct because in Lisk, you don't even have smart contracts. Instead, you have what's called sidechains. So how do you program this and what is it? Well, a sidechain is sort of its own blockchain, but it runs in parallel to the main chain, to the main blockchain. And when you create your own sidechain, you can create your own functionality with it. You can create your own transaction types, for example, and you embed the functionality that you want to have in your DAP inside that core code in the sidechain. So how are these sidechains secured? Because now, we don't have in Ethereum as a sort of big network where all the nodes run every single smart contract. Instead, you as a creator of your sidechain are responsible for finding nodes that will secure your sidechain. So it's basically just the main chain that will be secured by the entire network uh, and probably will be the most decentralized one. So it's up to you as a developer to secure your own chain. And this, of course, has both benefits and drawbacks. We might see higher performance since we can have fewer nodes executing all the contracts, but we can also see less decentralization, for example. So how does Lisk stack up to Ethereum right now? Well, that's sort of difficult to compare because Lisk hasn't come very far in its development. Uh, we're still waiting for the actual side chains to be released in Lisk. They're not available to program or to uh, create at the moment. So we don't know how that's going to work yet. While Ethereum, of course, is even though it's early stage, of course, it is out there and people can use it to build simple applications. So they are difficult to compare and we don't know uh, what Ethereum is going to look like when Lisk actually releases its full scale, you know, blockchain platforms with all of the side chains and so on. They have released a very detailed development roadmap and we will be seeing a lot of things getting released early 2018. Uh, and we will see the entire uh, the entirety of the platform during late 2018, according to that roadmap. As a developer, I am very excited to see what the Lisk team will come up with and how it will look like when you actually create these side chains and how the performance will look like when they release these side chains. Please leave a comment letting me know what you think of Lisk. What are your thoughts? What are your opinions on this platform and how it compares to Ethereum? And uh, Please also leave a like if you like the video or leave a dislike if you dislike the video and a comment maybe for future suggestions. What do you want me to look at? With that said, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.